the cook that loves to hug. And guess what? I'm the cook. My name is Denature Thomas. And guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be learning with lots of love. So go get your mom and your pops. Go give them a big old hug. Get your cookies and your milk. And we're going to be sitting down learning about geometry, math, reading, and spelling, and science. So, boys and girls, I need you to listen very carefully. When you hear cook time, that means cookie time. And that means we're getting ready to sit down, listen, and learn the subjects that we need to learn. But guess what? We're learning them with a lot of love. Because we love to love. Because love makes the world go round. And the first thing we're going to learn is geometry. So boys and girls, are you ready to learn about the continents? We're going to learn about the continents. 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 We're going to learn about Asia. We're going to learn about Africa. We're going to learn about North America. We're going to learn about South America. We're going to learn about the Antarctic. We're going to learn about Europe. We're going to learn about control, y'all. We're going to learn about the continents. We're going to learn about the continents. We're going to learn about the continents. So are you ready? We're going to learn about the continents. Boys and girls, this is what we call a multi-chart board right here. And this board right here teaches us so many great things. First of all, the biggest and the largest continent is Asia. And we got Asia in red. And Asia has 60 percent of the world population when it comes to humans. Yes, it has 50 countries in it. So this is the largest continent out of all seven continents, and there's only one world. Your next continent is Africa, and Africa is known for the Sierra Desert, and it has 54 countries in Africa. But your next continent is, guess what? It is North America, the United States, Mexico, and it is your third biggest continent, and it has 23 countries in it. Wow, so guess what? This one has, Asia has 50, Africa has 54, and North America has 23. But your next continent after that would be South America. And South America has only 12 continents in it. So we already got four out of the three, so we got three left. So what is our next continent? Our next continent is known for the coldest continent in the whole world, and that is the Antarctic, and that's in blue. But guess what? The Antarctic don't have no countries. They have no countries there. You know, they have a research lab that's set off apart, testing the ice and the waters. And I don't know if they test the animals. We got to find about this because we're learning together. But your next continent is Europe. And Europe has 54 countries in there. And you know what? We sit up there, we see how some continents have smaller and some has less. And you would think if something was bigger, they would have more. But it doesn't. It doesn't go that way. But your small continent is Asia. And when you think about Asia, you think about the kangaroos, crocodile, dundee. And it only has 14 countries there. But this multi-chart board, it helps us with so many things. It makes learning so easy. So we're going to ask our parents to go get us one of these. And also, you're going to have to have a seven-pack of individual color boards. Because when we start learning about Asia and Africa, North America, South America, the Antarctic, Europe, and uh, uh, um. Australia, we want to have individual boards so when we learn it, we can put the little sticker on there and say, well, guess what? We learned this so we know what we're doing and we're all on the same page. And some learn faster than others and some learn stones, but we're going to sit up there. If you need more time, you can hit stop because this is going to be on the DVD because you know what? It's very fun to listen and learn. And what we're doing, we're bringing learning back with love, amore. You know, can we say amore, love? But you know what? We're going to learn about the seasons right now. What season do you believe starts the new year that starts in January? What, what are you guessing? Guess what? When you see this blue, what do you think about? It is winter. Winter starts in January. Winter is the coldest and the most rainiest season. That's when we get a lot of snow. And you know what? The earth is getting watered. You know, then your next season will be spring. When you think about spring, you're thinking about Valentine's Amore love. You know, 
And that's when the trees and the flowers are being rebloomed, they're reblossomed, the grass is green, you're playing outside more because it's not as cold as it was in the winter. But guess what? Winter and spring goes together, they work together. I hope you guys know that that is what we're learning all subjects. But your next season is summer. And when we think about summer, we're thinking about vacation. Can we say vacation? Going to visit grandma, going to visit our cousins and our aunties and our uncles, spending time away from home, or going to Six Flags, Magic Mountain, going on field trips with our parents, and just enjoying the barbecues and the swimming that you go do in the summertime. And your last season of the year is fall. When you think of fall, you think about the trees dying, the leaves turning brown and orange, the flowers wiltering, the grass wiltering. But guess what? Soon as winter comes back, the earth is getting watered. So when the spring gets here, everything comes back to life. And this multi-chart chart board is going to tell us way more than that. We're going to be dealing with personalities and how to get along just with this one board. So it's very important that your parents go out there and buy this multicolor board. And this board will come with seven individual color boards. You know, one board would be yellowed and the one would be this green with these other colors. And one board would be, be uh, this blue. It's going to be a total of eight boards that you're going to be buying because each board is going to represent something. And it's going to teach us a lot of different things. It's even going to teach us about our personalities, the things we don't want to do and the things that we do want to do. Now, the things that we're getting ready to learn right now, before we start getting into reading, writing, and math, we're going to learn about how the cook made all this. That's what we're going to go to that last. Because you know what? When we read the book, the cook, it explains all these things to us. So we're going to get here with our cookies and our milk, and we're getting ready to read the book, The Cook and the Cook. Loves to make his cookies. You know, so we're going to be learning a lot with this book. Make sure you have your books out so we can learn the things that we need to learn. And the first thing we do and do when I read it, I'm going to read it so I can see. Then I will show y'all like this. I will put the page up there close so y'all can see the items so we can do this together. Okay, boys and girls? And this is how the cook reads. Once upon a time, there was a cook that loved to make cookies. The cook will first get all his ingredients together to make sure that he would have everything that he would need. He got flour, sugar, butter, eggs, baking powder, salt, milk, vanilla, sprinkles, nuts, and chips. So guess what? We're sitting up there. We're looking at all these items right there. All the items that's on the screen. So the thing is at the bottom of your page right here, it tells you what items are missing. So we're going to look at this page again. And so when you look at the page, we see that there's eggs here. And we see that there's flour. So all the items that you see that's on the paper and that's in front of you, circle them all off. And the items that are missing, you need to write them down in this, in this far corner right here. In your left-hand corner. And that's where you will write. Because guess what? We see everything but the spoon. The spoon's not on there. We didn't read about the spoon. That's why it's so good to listen. We didn't read about the whisk. And we didn't also say nothing about the bowl. So we know that these three items are not here. And that's why you got to sit down and listen when we read together. And we got to circle off the items that we did here and the ones that we didn't hear. We look for them and see what's left. And now we're going to page two, boys and girls. So we're turning the page. And we're having so much fun reading this and, and finding the missing items. And plus, we're learning how to spell. So that is another plus about the cookbook. Now, this is where we're on page two. The cook loved baking his cookies from scratch. First, the cook will get a large bowl and put the butter and the sugar together and mix them until they became light and fluffy. At the bottom of your page, it says, what items are missing? So we're looking at our items. What items are missing? So we see the sugar. We see the bowl and the butter. So what items are you going to write down? Ding, 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 ding. Right by the cook's head, there's a spoon. So you write spoon down there because we know that there's one missing item. And on page three, and this is how page three reads. Then the cook will get 
the eggs, milk, and vanilla in another bowl and would start to whisk them to become one. Then the cook started to add the flour, baking powder, and salt together in a bowl and then gradually mix all ingredients together to make his cookie dough. And down here says, what item is missing? At the bottom, you got to look very carefully. What item is missing? Do we see all our items? Boys and girls, look at your papers really, really good. Do you see all your items? Guess what's missing? Ding, nothing. That's why it's so important that you sit up there and you read. We read together and we listen because if y'all marked that there was nothing missing, you got that question right. So now we're on page four, boys and girls. So are we, are we ready to start? Okay, so this is how page four reads. Once the cook had his cookie dough, he thought to himself, what kind of cookies do I want to make? Oh, that's a question. So we put a question mark right there. There are so many decisions. Should I use nuts, sprinkle, raisins, or, or, or chips? See, that is questions after questions. And at the bottom it says, draw in your items. So draw what you want to make your cookies like. Do you want to have, do you want to have chips, nuts, raisins, or sprinkle? Do you want to use all four? Or do you just want to use the chips and the nuts? You know, chocolate chip cookies with nuts and, and chips are really good. So think about it because these are your personal cookies. So, you know, draw in the items that you would like the way you want your cookies to come out. And so, boys and girls, we're on page five. And on page five... It reads, then this cook said to himself, I will make all of them. The sugar and butter mixture will make the hearts of the cookies. The sugar will be the love that I put in them. I will use the butter to melt their hearts if it gets hardened so that they could love, obey, and forgive the other cookies if they do something wrong to another cookie. Draw in your items. So any item that you want to draw in from this page, you can. And remember, the cook loved all his cookies because you know what? We're coming to the end of this book. This is book one out of many, many books. And page six reads like this. Then the cook said to himself, the eggs, milk, and vanilla mixture would give the cookies the wetness so they can stick together. The flour, the baking powder, and the salt would give the cookies the mold and the shape that I desire for my cookies. So you need to draw all the items that we read about. The milk, the sugar, the butter, anything that we read in the page, you need to draw these items. And if you need more room, Go to the back of a page and just draw your items because we all draw different. You know, we're the same. We draw the same, but we draw different. So we're on page seven. So then the cookie started rolling out the dough and he made some of his cookies round. Some were square, some were triangle, some were long, and some were short. Some were little, some were big, some were light, some were dark. And it tells you right down here, count your items. So we need to count all the cookies that's on there, all the different items. So we're going to count these together. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We got sixteen different types of shapes of cookies. So, you know, we're going to end up later on doing some math problems with this. Because if you go 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 more is 6, plus 2 more is 8, then you go 8 plus 8 is 16. So we're going to take these problems on the next book, and we're going to start doing a lot more math with these 16 cookies. And you know what does 16 mean? 16 means love. And so that's why we picked the number 16. So we're on our last page, page 8. And on page eight, it reads like this. The cookie loved all his cookies the same. They may look different, but they were made with the same ingredients. They were made with the love of the cook. See, the cook loved all his cookies the same, but they just look different. And you know what? At the end of this page, it tells you to go back and color the whole book. 
And there's so many different things that you could do. You could do some adding, some subtracting when you're looking at the numbers. So, you know, tell your parents to go out there and get the book to cook so we can sit up there and learn how to read, do our math and our geometry and our history together. Now, we're going to talk about our cookies that's in front of us. See, we got right here three types of cookies. We got O right here. We got Chip. And we got Tarnette right here. Tarnette is a vanilla wafer. And so she's light complected. She has green eyes. But guess what? The cook still loves her, her because the cook made her with love. Then we got Chip right here. Chip is brown complected. But guess what? They're the same. They look different, their heights are different, their shapes are different, but they're the same. Then we got Mr. O over here. He's dark complected. But does the cook love any of his cookies different? No. The cook loves every last one of his cookies the same. We all, as human beings, we look different, but we're the same. I'm a girl and you're a boy. But guess what? The cook love us the same so y'all go out there and y'all go get the things that we need so we can learn together and this is the premiere letting you know what is going to be going on the cook show how our children is going to be learning with lots of love so when me and the kids are learning parents y'all can go up there cook them a nice dinner and that way you don't have to hear them going mommy mommy because guess what they got their cookies their milk their crayons and they're pills and they're learning the things that they need to learn. So y'all have a blessed day. Please share. This is the premiere of The Cook. And when I'm in front of a real camera, it's going to be a lot more easier than what it is now. But I'm giving God all the glory in the name of Jesus because he has made this possible in Jesus' name because there's nobody helping me but Jesus. So all glory goes to God. And Jesus is the one who made this chart and I didn't even know what it was going to do. But this multicolored chart is going to be doing so many beautiful things. We're going to be at learning about the world, geometry, attitudes, and we're going to, this, this board is very important, so please go get this, and this one board should be coming with seven more boards, because each board is going to be, one's going to be solid red, one's going to be solid blue, because when we're learning different things, there will be something that they can stick to the board so they can remember, so if your kids, if we're learning together, by the time they're in the third grade, they should be ready for college, in the name of Jesus. So y'all have a blessed day and please share.